Good morning and welcome to our Ascension Day service. Uh, one or two small technical problems, uh, so bear with us if uh, the quality of streaming isn't perhaps as good as sometimes it has been. Uh, but the glorious news is we do have a hymn. We're going to be singing Christ triumphant ever reigning at the end of our service. So stay with us till then. And thank you to the choir and Mark for doing that. Watch out for the stained glass as we sing. And just to mention that uh, some of seven or eight of us are, are saying morning prayer together uh, virtually at eight o'clock every morning. And if you'd like an invitation to that, it's a very calm, simple spoken service. Uh, let me know and we can invite you too. So let's worship. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God has gone up with a shout and the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. Dear brothers and sisters, for 40 days we have been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, his bursting from the tomb and the defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. Today we recall how he left the earth and returned to the Father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers, trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly yet loving rule. Let us hear the story of his parting. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me, that John was baptized with water, but he will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they'd come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or the periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, and all Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you to heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. What God has prepared for those who love him, he has revealed to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches everything. Therefore let us in penitence open our hearts to the Lord who has prepared good things for those who love him. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Seeing we have a great high priest who has passed through the heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us offer him the praise worthy of his name. We say it again.
pray that our risen and ascended Lord will lead us to eternal life. Risen Christ, you have raised our human hearts to the throne of heaven. Help us to seek and serve you, that we may join you at the Father's side, where you reign with the Spirit in glory, now and forever. Amen. Say together, Psalm 47. <clears throat> Clap your hands together, all you peoples, and sing to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared. He is the great King over all the earth. He subdued the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He has chosen our heritage for us and the pride of Jacob whom he loves. God has gone up with a merry noise, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Oh, sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God has taken his seat upon his holy throne. The nobles of the people are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For the powers of the earth belong to God, and he is very highly exalted. <coughs> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Go and make disciples, says the Lord. Remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. In the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Jesus said, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. And he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and he said to them, Thus it is written, the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am also sending upon you what my father promised, so stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. And he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up to heaven. And they worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The Feast of Ascension. We celebrate the return of Jesus to the Father. We've known him on earth as the babe of Bethlehem, the son of the carpenter in Nazareth, the, rab the rabbi and the crucified and risen Lord. And today we celebrate his return to the eternity from which he came. In pre-Reformation times, the Ascension would have been celebrated with processions and chanting. God has gone up with a merry noise and the Lord with the sound of the trumpet, as we said in the psalm. Psalm 47 reminds us of the Old Testament procession when they carried the Ark of the Covenant up onto the Temple Mount with Michael, uh, with David, dancing before the Ark. Uh, Michal, his wife, was watching. It was apparently a medieval belief that lion cubs are born dead and the father lion has to roar over them to bring them to life. And St. Catherine of Siena wrote to her father in God, her cardinal, her wish that, I wish such a bellow should be uttered over the body of the church as would awaken the sons lying dead within her. And a modern day preacher of the Pope, a Catholic has commented, I don't know what words St. Catherine short thought should be shouted over the body of Holy Church but I do know the word that ought to be shouted today to wake the church, eternity, eternity. And he's right, eternity is the unique selling point, if you like, of the church. The dimension that the church 
as distinct from the temporal world, understands the dimension that the church takes into account in decision making, in preaching, in its approach to life. Our response as church to the coronavirus is, or should be, to keep an eye on those finding difficulty being isolated and alone, but to keep the other eye on eternity. And in the light of eternity, we, I think, can see our own worries from a slightly different perspective. They're still there, our worry and isolation and fear. How do they look in the light of eternity? They will pass. And our worries are mostly worries about what might happen in the future, something that Jesus forbids us to do in Matthew 6, 34. Sufficient to the day is the evil thereof. Don't think about the evils of tomorrow. Deal with the ones you've got now. And our concern about money, which for many of us is very real, a fairly serious concern. But Jesus tells us, don't worry. God who clothes the flowers so beautifully loves us even more than them. And cancelled exams. And one feels for the young people whose future has been so abruptly guillotined. In 10 years time, in the light of eternity, will they matter? And if they do, in God's time, they can and will be taken. I wonder if what truly matters in the light of eternity is how we are relating to each other and to God. Love God and love your neighbours is the first commandment for Jesus. Bear each other's burdens and let God bear ours. And if we're doing that, if we are truly sharing in the life Jesus lived on earth and intends us to live now that he's returned to heaven, there is the promise that he will send us the Holy Spirit to help us in our life on earth, to help us with those worries, to help us with keeping an eye on eternity. At the Feast of the Ascension, we see Christ returning to the eternity of heaven with that promise, so that as we share the life he lived on earth, we will also share in his eternal life. And so, brothers and sisters in eternity, I ask you to profess the faith of the church, our faith. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being, the one for whom we exist? I believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died and rose again? I believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God, and makes Christ known in all the world. I believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And so rejoicing that Jesus has ascended into heaven and promises us eternal life with him, let us pray with confidence to God the Father. Lord God, thank you for all those who showed us your way of truth and led us by example. Make us in our turn, however unlikely it seems, bearers of your truth for this generation. May we wait with confidence for the outpouring of your spirit once again. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, send your Holy Spirit on those who govern. Those in America who advise Donald Trump, a ruling party in China, President Putin and his advisors. May the world be governed in accordance with your rule of love. May we find a spirit of cooperation to manage the health problems of the world together. Lord, in your mercy, hear Lord God, be with those who are homeschooling, both parents and children, particularly those parents who feel inadequate, inadequate and frustrated. Be with those who are isolated together and finding strains in their relationship. 
be there in every aspect of their interactions. And be with those who are alone, those who are finding that difficult and lonely, and whose mental health is fragile. Wherever there is discord or bitterness or fear, bring your healing and confidence and forgiveness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord God, we pray with, we pray with hope for healing and restoration to wholeness for those who are ill or troubled or depressed. We remember particularly the people of Bangladesh, those affected by the cyclone there. And we bring before you Shirley Fletcher, Claire Carter, Georgina Bowman, Jonathan and his wife and family, Jenny Ashton, John Cope, Andrew Sillett, Tony Ede, Nick Spanner, Fiona Foyer, Corinna Rittner, Glyn Jackson, Joe Skoll, Joyce Wellington, Mary Morgan, Dylan, Susan Stockdale, Stephanie Shotko, Helen, Harold Holmes, Anne Sixsmith, Norman Dix, Paul Keeling, Steve Lowe, Simon Green, Patrick, Patricia Byrne, Margaret White, Charlotte Watson, Elizabeth Nedwaney, Tony Buss, and Keith Pickett. Lord, bring them flourishing and wholeness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have come to the end of their earthly life and entered into eternal life with you. May they receive merciful judgment and be welcomed into the glory of heaven. We remember before you Sheila James and Jenny Bryson. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. And so with joy we celebrate Jesus entering into his glory and await the coming of the Holy Spirit. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Jesus said, my peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. If you love me, rejoice because I am going to the Father. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And each other, offer each other the sign of peace virtually or in your hearts. And as we do offer each other peace, I think it's something that we only recognise as something we need when we're in troubled times. It is perhaps in these times that we particularly need to feel each other offering that peace. Blessed be God, by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened, by whose mercy we offer our sacrifice of praise. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our joy. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, the King of glory. 
born of a woman, he came to the rescue of our human race. Dying for us, he trampled death and conquered sin. By the glory of his resurrection, he opened the way to life eternal, and by his ascension, gave us the sure hope that where he is, we also will be. Therefore, the universe resounds with Easter joy, and with choirs of angels, we sing forever to your praise. Praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured, may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, as you eat it in remembrance of me. Supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you, gave it to them and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I heard the voice of a great multitude crying, Alleluia. The Lord our God has entered into his kingdom. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Alleluia. The Almighty God, who is a strong tower for all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven and earth and under the earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your defence and make you know that the only name in heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our risen Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. God our Father, you have raised our humanity in Christ and feed us with the bread of heaven. Mercifully grant that nourished with such spiritual blessings, we may set our hearts in the heavenly places through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we whom the spirit lights give life to the world. Keep us firm in the hope which you, we have grasped, so we and all your children shall be free and the whole earth live to praise your name through Christ our Lord. Amen.
God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Waiting expectantly for the promised Holy Spirit, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.